Looks like Doc checked in. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential, shackled to a tired, old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Hope he's not too excited. looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Out of the way. <laughs> Gotta move. Now. Gonna check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Got it. Time to move. Standish. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. something about crap generator tripped I won't distract him for long him for long. Charlie are both on deck for Dr. Michael's relocation, ma'am. 
Add two more units. He carries the only sample of Devil's Breath. I will not be responsible for Pandemic. Looks important. Safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. Continue. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels just carries Devil's Breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it. I hope his ego doesn't bite him in the ass. Or us. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. Watson. I've read your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Oh, what that the was hell? not a Sable guy. Definitely not a Sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. <laughs> well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I, I screwed up. It, it was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. <sighs> you know this is exactly why we broke up. I... I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol.